you guys, Nick, aka the one only Nick's Games. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.7.2 and 1.7.4 with absolutely no lag. Now, first off, you do need to download a mod that is very, very easy to download. It's one click download, and I do have a tutorial for you guys. It's linked in the top left hand corner of your screen, as well as in the description of this video and at the end of this video. So, there are three ways you can get to it. So, go check out that video, install Optifine, and then come back, and this tutorial will work for you. If you don't want to install Optifine, there will be some tips at the end of this video that might help you if you don't want to install Optifine, but you will find the best results if you install Optifine. If you do not install Optifine and you want to help in the comment section down below, that's the first thing I'm going to do. You able to, that's the first thing I'm going to tell you. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and go into options if you have Minecraft Optifine installed. So go here to video settings, and now basically all these video settings are set how they should be to run fast in Minecraft. So we want fast graphics, render distance all the way down at 2, smooth lighting off, frame rate max, that way we don't have any frame rate fluctuation, or I mean we can have frame rate fluctuation. If you are lagging, if you've done all this and you are lagging, please come back to this max frame rate and lower it to 30. If you are still lagging then, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try some other things to help you. Nevertheless, smooth lighting should be off, view bobbing, personal preference, all this stuff right here is up to you. And then we get to chunk loading. And this is what really makes Optifine awesome. Now if you have a single core processor, you want to do smooth chunk loading. If you do not have a single core processor and you have a multi-core processor like I do, I have a five core processor, you want to go to multi-core. So I'm going to use multi-core if you have a single core processor, which most people do not these days, they have at least a dual core, but if you have a single core processor, you want to use smooth. If you don't, you if you have a multi-core processor, a better processor, you will want to use multi-core. I don't like fog, that's just my personal preference. No fog whatsoever. And then uh, there's that, and then we can go into quality. All this mini-map and anti-alias stuff doesn't matter. However, we want everything in here to be off. Off, off, off. Clear water, off. Random odds, better grass, better snow, fonts, all that, off. And then connected textures, fast. And then that'll do it right there. Natural textures, off, all that. Then click done. And then we want to go to animations. This is actually the simplest one in all of them. You don't have to go down through here and click all these. You just cl simply click all off right here. Click all off and see if I turn a few of these on. If you watch them, I click all off and boom, they turn off. Click done. And then last but not least, we need to go into other settings here. Now, the only thing that will be different for you that's diff that's not already set for me is that weather will not be on, or weather will be on, not off. If you turn weather off, you will run Minecraft faster, but you won't have things like snow and rain and things like that. So, I would rather keep weather on because I do record Minecraft and things like that, and I need that for, you know, game kind of just balancing and some changing up. But if you don't want weather and you want Minecraft to run really, really fast, turn that off. Additionally, Auto save, I have it at three minutes, okay? Default is two seconds. That's going to lag your computer to death. But I would recommend three minutes because that gives you some leeway. However, if you're very confident that your computer will not turn off unexpectedly, you can up that to 30 minutes. Do that at your discretion. Realize that if your computer turns off, you will lose what you've done for the past 30 minutes in Minecraft, potentially. So be aware of that. I would recommend three minutes, but that's just me. Click done, click done, click done, and boom. You have now set up Optifine to be awesome and make Minecraft run extremely fast in Minecraft 1.7.2 and 1.7.4. However, there is one more thing we can do. That is right-click on your taskbar. That could be at the top of your screen like it is mine. Most likely it's at the bottom of your screen, but right-click on it and then click Start Task Manager. Once this is booted up, you want to close out of things that aren't needed. In this case, I don't need my internet browser up. So I'm going to end that task. Right click on it, and then end task. Now that's the only thing I can see really, really quickly here. But there's one more thing that all of you will have that will increase your Minecraft streaming, or your Minecraft playing a ton, and reduced lag so much. And that is this second Java dot, Java W.exe. Now you'll have this first Java, 
that Java is the one that is actually being used. That is actually what is running this Minecraft here in the background. However, this second one is pointless. I don't even know why it's here, but you know what you do? You right click on it, you end the process, and you have now cleared up a ton of memory for your computer years that it previously was not able to. After you've done that, close out of this, and then just start into Minecraft. Now, I'm going to see what my FPS is here. I suspect it to be very, very low. The reason for that, and I expect me to be lagging, the reason for that is because I am recording in 1080p, and that is going to put a lot of freaking, oh, I hit the wrong button. That is going to put a lot of freaking stress on my computer. Now, as you can see, I'm running at 28 to 30 frames a second. Now, that's exactly where I thought it would be, and I'm limiting my FPS at 30. Now, let's see what happens when I unlimit it real quick and make it unlimited FPS. Now, it shouldn't go up. And it's running so low because I am recording. I will screenshot what it's running when I'm not recording and uh, put that on the video right now. Nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you helped it, if it helped you out, let me know in the comment section down below. Nevertheless, guys, also if you have any help, if you need any help and things like that, and this isn't working for you or you can't figure it out, please, please, please let me know in the comment section down below. I will be happy to help you. I will respond to comments. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys want to go check out. On the left is how to install Optifine 1.7.2 and 1.7.4. Uh, so if you guys have watched this whole entire video and still haven't installed Optifine, that is how you can go do it. You can go install it there and then come back to this video and it will help you out and you'll be able to understand it all and do it yourself in Minecraft. And on the right is Crisis Craft episode 17 in which I go have some fun, make some funny jokes about sheep and all that awesome stuff. I think you'll enjoy it if you go check it out. Also, check out the video on this bottom center of your screen that is the new vlog that I'm starting which I document every day of my life with my best friend and business partner Patrick that video is called Dating for Dummies and it's pretty funny so go check it out nevertheless guys hope you enjoyed this video I'm Nick's Games and I'm out peace